Hey guys, so I promised you I would have more content about the bosses coming out. Um, that was a little bit delayed because yesterday and the day before I guested to Blackgate, Maine and spent a period, and this is really no life and very bad, I spent a period of well over 24 hours straight constantly in that map in TeamSpeak trying to kill the worms. I was hoping that eventually we'd get it and maybe I'd have this awesome video of the world first, which would have been awesome, but uh, sadly that never happened and in the end the worm defeated me. There was one particular run right near the end which had such an incredibly emotional end for me that I thought, hey, maybe I should put that in a video. It'd probably be quite interesting to many of you who maybe haven't seen The Worm. Um, so let me set the scene for you. This won't be a full description of the fight. I'll probably do it once I've actually completed it and talk about some serious strats. But here's how the fight works, okay? There are three separate large worms that spawn in really, really distant areas of South Blood Tide Coast, and you have to kill them all within 60 seconds. You have 15 minutes to complete the entire event, but if you kill the first worm at, say, 11 minutes remaining, it instantly jumps the timer down to 60 seconds remaining. So if you kill the first worm too quickly, you're not going to have any time to kill the other two worms. It's very difficult to synchronize the triple kill because every single worm is permanently invulnerable until you complete like a mini mechanic to make them vulnerable and put them in their burn phase. So not only do you have to get all the worms really low at once, but then you have to coordinate all of the mechanics to all trigger all at once and then actually have the DPS to finish the worms off. Once you get all three dead, the fight goes into phase two where the start running around. At the time of this run, the only like two groups had ever seen phase two. It was a very new thing. It had appeared in a couple of small streams and we were incredibly, incredibly close to nailing the fight. My gameplay is horrific. It really is. I watched it this morning after I woke up and I'm like, wow, where is my focus? I'm not doing anything right. So please don't judge me too hard. You know, you get one attempt and then it's a two hour wait. We were so close on every attempt. I felt like I could never go to bed because I'd actually miss the world first. But this is the run. It was a particularly important one to me as well because I'd actually come up with the strat we used here. Um, and we actually, a lot of people didn't really want to do this strat. We put it up to a vote whether we try a completely different strat. And I was very stubborn about sticking with my strat. And we only won the vote by a very thin margin. So I really, really wanted it to do well. And well, I guess you will see. Uh, one other tiny thing also, the way this is going to work, you're going to hear everyone that was in TeamSpeak with me. I was a commander, I was commanding one of my groups, the Cobalt group, that's for the Cobalt Worm. And you're going to hear me repeating myself a lot. That's because I'm speaking to a, a group of 40 people specifically in my channel. But at the same time, I'm coordinating with commanders that have all got their own channels. So I say the same thing like twice, and that's me communicating it with my group, and then communicating information with the commanders, you know, as we set up the burst and stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I think it'll be an interesting video, and I'll see you next time. Alright, we're on 45 players. I'm just going to ask the others how their numbers are. Guys, how are your numbers at this late stage? I can move Got 60 on me. That's awesome. Twilight? It's got about 20. Food just went up, guys. You can go grab it. Olympia says about 20. Alright, so we're all set. Everybody's got what they need. Everybody's actually got what they need, by the way. So, we got 60, 20, 20, 40. By some miracle. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot more we could be saying right now about what we should be doing. <clears throat> uh, just as a recap God, for you guys, there. our specific rotation here is we escort this guy. Then when we get to the beach, that skill point on the beach, we're going to return to this waypoint. We're going to nuke the worm here to 25%. We're going to fill up both the uh, yellow and the red containers and then we're going to go back with reinforcements to get our own worm to 25% okay that's the plan we're starting this event like way behind no. the schedule oh yeah no. it happens it, it's within like five ten minutes that it can start get started um, so yeah, if, you, if you're just going to try and follow me, that there is some waypointing involved, so just be aware. So many spiders in front of me. Um, and remember guys, when we do eventually get to our fight down there, we have support of 20 other people that aren't in our channel and they're dealing primarily with DPS. But after burn phases, we're all going to try and clean up the mobs, okay? After that, though, it's 
running kegs 100% of the time. Oh, that's the last time I'm going to kill that boar, I guess. Do that anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so you guys can push forward. People totally new to the encounter, there are these uh, jungle worm eggs. They're important to take note of because if you leave them on the battlefield, they'll spawn jungle worms. And in the encounter we're headed to, those worms will destroy our kegs. So we really want to focus on these worms. We wrecked that egg, by the way. That was pretty crazy. It fills me with hope that we have so much DPS, it doesn't even matter if the server tries mm, to screw yeah. this out of us. Like, screw you, everyone's just gone Zerks. I won the bet. There's an ice bow down for more of these I for these egg cleave. It's the skill four if you see an uh, they're not actually vulnerable yet. I just wasted my bow. Now they're vulnerable. Everything's okay in the other groups? Okay, whoever was just talking was lagging really badly. Let's hope that isn't a problem there. Two of us have talked. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't hear any of it. <laughs> okay. So you guys can find some nutrients around here. Uh... If you find, apparently, and we'll see what we can do about it, if you find that you're doing zero damage, but your conditions are ticking just fine, if you find some black, purpley mushrooms, activate them, and it will give you a buff that should fix your damage. But you can't activate them twice, or you get sick, and then you'll get constantly CC'd, and just a lot of awful stuff will happen. So... Actually, I wouldn't even. We're talking about embers and man, I wouldn't even use them until we're on the second phase, to be honest. Yeah, don't use your embers or any consumables, anything like that. Not on burn. I go. Is that person even in this channel? Maybe not. All right, guys. Good job here. Uh, the NPC is going to take us through the water to the island across here. If we just want to make sure we kill some of these ambient thing so he doesn't get held up and hopefully he doesn't bug or scare us so we'll log in my skills don't work for some reason and I can't attack yeah I had that it's uh, if you get yourself CC there's actually some crate in the water here if you just swim over to the crate let them CC you it fixes it okay yeah, as long as you get hit by something it should fix oh is it just getting hit oh, okay well. yeah Sadly, everyone else seems to have aggroed them. Unless that was you specifically. Okay, this is the achievement. This is why you're all zerking on this. There's a bottle. <laughs> There's a bottle that you can pick up uh, on this beach. It will spawn it in a second. about where I'm jumping right now. And uh, you drink from it or throw it and you get an achievement. Good job with the Crusader, guys. And there's going to be a little demo here of basically the concept of our group. Our worm is invulnerable until we load a load of kegs next to him. And worms apparently don't like these explosive kegs. And this worm's about to try and eat this one, and he dies from it. So. Hey, Crimson's here. Uh, Crimson just arrived at their location. <clears throat> oh, so you're all set too? Yeah, is Amber ready? Uh, yes. Okay, Amber's also in position. Again, like in the water here, be careful. Now this island we're coming to here, 
There's going to be a bit of a fight when we land, when we make land. But after we finish this fight, after we kill the champion that drops the lockbox, at that point, we don't need to be here anymore. Okay, so wait for my call. And you'll see I ping a waypoint in map chat. It will come from Lis. And you want to go to that waypoint and head south. That waypoint is the one we started at. So if you already know what it's called, you can take it upon yourself after we've killed all these eggs. Now be careful here also because the worms can one-shot people pretty quick. Or grubs, I should say. Because we release them all like wolves. Oh, well, these worms got dropped fast. People yeah, are picking up the conjured the weapons. Could be a good sign that enemies are dying, maybe, since that veteran was also Shh, scared. So. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, so here we go. Get your one lockbox from this event. Should we fail? Or is there a second one? Is there a second one? No. There's just a couple mobs as you go along. I'll clear those. You guys can get going after this. Um, is some Have we got somebody who can watch this Me. guy? Thank you. So yeah, after this champion dies, guys, take a careful look in local chat right there. First side vigil waypoint. And we're going to that waypoint now. You go to that waypoint. People are walking forwards. They're not listening. Obviously. Yeah, thanks for putting a map. So there we go. Anyway, any like guardians or anything that land there, you could use your symbol swiftness stuffs to under the waypoint. And um, uh, it will help speed people up. We want to get there kind of quickly. They've been waiting for us for a little while. Try and keep up as much as loading screens do spread us out. See, my concern is there are some people who didn't listen and they're just running kegs. I'm yelling them. at them the entire time. Oh, there were a bunch of them over there. There was like five or six. Oh, it's probably the five one. or six that weren't leaving whenever we asked them to at spawn. Yeah, I yelled at them. They're leaving. They're going. I was super unnice about it. So. Nice. Thank you. All I'm right, guys. So the worms will spawn and we're in position to kill this guy. Now, a huge warning. Warn everyone about over DPSing. Don't over DPS this guy, please. We that. It will completely destroy us. So we have to be very, very careful that we don't accidentally kill this worm. It will have made everything a waste of time. First, we need to complete the pre event, obviously. We need to get him vulnerable. You do this by walking into the poisonous clouds and matching the colours to the machines in the area. So you find a green cloud, you've got a little green heart near you. Uh, yellow, sorry, not green. Then you would go to the yellow machine. And that's about it. If you look at the minimap, you'll see the icons are on there. And they'll show when they fill up. So keep your eyes very close on that. The trick to doing lots of damage, if the server rebels against us, the trick to doing lots of damage is getting really nicely stacked up, nice and early, with really high might. So warriors, get your For Great Justices out. Watch for your longbow fire fields. They last Red so long. Small. Blue is the only Yellow one is left. Four. Be prepared. Lots of people are running up there. Get towards the worm. So get ready with fire fields and stuff, guys. He's actually already wasted a CC, which is perfect. So stack really nicely. As close onto the commanders as you can possibly get. Get everyone on the double hit zone. I guess he did a CC again. And absolutely keep. Okay, careful. Careful, guys. Careful. Careful. He's getting very low very quickly. Burning. So we're going to have to call away in just a moment, okay? Be careful with it. Just DPS him a little bit. All right, stop. Everybody stop. Turn stop, around, stop, turn stop, around, stop. Turn stop. Around, turn around. Stop, guys. Stop. Stop, please, for the love of God. Nah, just keep it. Keep it oh, what if the Condies kill him? Okay, well, he's fine. Once he goes we're filling so, up everything but blue. Uh, yes, fill it's up fine. everything but blue. Conditions yet. Fill up the yellow and the red. 
machines, okay? And once we've done that, we're going to return to where we came from. We're going back to Cobalt, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Gotcha. Was that the first burn on him? Yes, yeah, it was. That sometimes that's happens. That's why it's so screwy. Right. Alright. That I mean, we've also figured out more about the like condition damage. Super slow. There we go. So, red's full, but we still need yellow. Try to not leave them all in the dark. Once yellow is full, look in map chat. I've just pinged the waypoint we need. It's the Jalaco waypoint. Oh, I'm, I'm suppressed because someone else do it. But it's basically where we just were on that beachfront. Break combat and get yourselves over there. Thank you very much for pinging that. Alright, don't zerg over to the kegs. Don't zerg. Look for the commander tag. It's really important for this entire event, guys. You pay very close attention to the minimap because you can get caught out and die. What we're going to do is just slowly push in so that people get a chance to group up. They're all in loading screens. They're trying to break combat. People are going to be trickling around, okay? So be very careful. We're going to try and fight on this plateau here. And get these husks down. The husks die to condition damage largely. So if you are condition damage, please focus husks. If, if uh, not, then look at the uh, pirates and look at the worms themselves. There are ice bows around, so try and pick them up. Our second commander's coming in. And don't remember that, um, don't forget the plan, right? Don't remember the plan. Don't forget the plan. What we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to cleave all of the mobs away after a burn phase. And then we focus entirely on kegs. The 20 people with us who are not in this channel, they're focusing on damage, okay? So just keep with the commanders. Try not to push too quickly. Just keep cleaving so these and these down. Yeah, I know that he's pushed a bit, but don't worry. We'll just gradually push in ourselves. Man, lots of people on, man. Red circle. How's Amber? Oh. Amber's also got one burn off, which is pretty nice. They're on their second burn right now. Uh, somebody asking something in Commander Chat. Yeah, how's Amber? Um, it's, I don't know what's going on, we're getting, we're all getting double numbers and it's just not burning us. Oh, Actually, the okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Southeast, guys, southeast. Yeah, it's so the kegs vulnerable. have changed. He's, He's going effect. vulnerable, everybody stack. But be careful, be careful again on Cobble because we don't want to over DPS. We don't want to over DPS this guy, all the DPS is still very high on this event, so be careful. User it is fine if we take two burns to knock this guy out. It's fine. And guys, also remember, after this burn phase is over, we're going to cleave all these monsters away, okay? So keep fighting over the worm. Just get rid of all this crap. Some worms just spawned. Husks are about. Remember, if you're Condi, be on the husks. Look for the commanders. We're just out on the beach, as you can see. Push towards us. Don't get caught on the other side of all the mobs. Okay, now, those guys are on full DPS mode. We're running kegs. Thank you so much for the res. So keep those kegs going, guys. I think our cleave after that fight may not have been so hot, but it's okay. Staff on a Mesmer is friggin' brutal. It's doing more damage to my sword. Eight Ten. Alright. Oh, I can actually go for they another one already. to the north, guys? Yeah, that's fine. Careful, guys. So, Amber, you're going for one more burst, and then I think wait, okay? Alright. Sounds good. Amber is fully set up. Crimson will be fully set up soon also. We've got a bunch of kegs coming in. 
Gotta hope they stop. <laughs> they, they will stop, they will stop. Alright, we're done Should on Amber. Here. there we go. There's new chains to, to the up? right. Okay, he's in he's in burn phase. Here we go. We are only putting him to five percent. Only put cobbled to five percent. Okay. Watch it. Just keep pressuring, keep pressuring, keep pressuring. Do you think we can get this alone next time, without the extra twenty? If we can get to that, so. yeah. I probably. think we can. Okay, cleave mobs, cleave mobs. Help us cleave mobs, Crimson, and then you guys can leave. Crimson's gonna help us cleave these mobs, and then they're gonna go. Alright, go ahead and find, cool find or that blue cobalt. flap. There's one down by the boss. On the, on the blue uh, to do another burn. Side, one, Do not uh, engage on Amber until you hear at Cobalt that we've got the 15 kegs, okay? Okay. Amber isn't going to engage until they know we have 15 kegs ready. And don't engage on Crimson until you hear that Amber's going. So watch it, guys. Keep your position in nice Tell and tight. Tell me when you're happy with the map levels. Change to the southeast, guys. Southeast. Come on, Cobalt players. Everyone in this team speak. Look at all these players that are zerging around here right now. Look at your positioning. We've got to be really careful here, guys. Go for those kegs. That's it. Go for the kegs. Two minutes on this buff, so... uh we can start stacking up. Cobalt coming. Alright, our kegs are at 15. Alright, so you want us to go ahead and go in? Yeah, hold our kegs here. Keep, Just keep trickling them. Don't put the kegs to 20. Don't put the kegs to 20. Don't, don't go to, to 20. Do not go to 20. Just slowly trickle them in. No more, no more kegs, no more kegs. Engage, Amber, and tell us when you're ready with your spears. They're probably going to do it. Okay, Crimson, we're going to break off. No, we've got control. Everybody's in team okay, speak. Good Everybody job. stops. All right. Um, if you don't have a keg, just go ahead and cleave these mobs down. We are waiting for the call from Amber to tell us that their spears are up, okay? We have 19 kegs. We're just waiting for your call. Are you guys ready? We're ready. All right, we're going in. Amber is engaging. Get the kegs. Don't place them just yet. Amber, are you bursting? They're going inside, just wait. Just no, wait. we're going in now. Just wait, they're going inside. Down to 18. All right, down, down to 15. 15. Push, push, push. They're going to start um, despawning uh, pretty quick. We're just DPSing the wall now, and then we'll be out. They're DPS in the wall right now, so I would say start running the kegs again. North, west, kegs. Ah. Keep it on, Tony. It's 19. Are we burning? Are we burning? Are burning, go, burn. Alright, guys, push it and we're going for the burn. We have to listen in, guys. Don't play. Amber, yet. are you Wait prepared? Oh, planting. Amber's, yeah, Amber's right, burning right now. right now. Go with a cobble we burn. We should do it now if okay, Amber's okay. burning. Full burn. I've died. Okay. I'm not going to see the fucking heads. Get ready for phase two. This is a definite okay, phase two. Stack up. Watch for phase two. Get your Zerk Crimson stuff on if you up. can. Can't believe I died when I did. Full burn, right? Full burn, yep. yeah. Everything you've Crimson. got, guys. Let's go. I think Crimson already went back. Everything you've got, guys. All right, cool. Beautiful time. Cobalt's burning right now. Now comes the fun. And we gotta go for a full burn right now. Go, Cobalt, go. This one's not burning. Push him, push him, Cobalt. No, come on. Don't move yet. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Got him. No, oh, fuck, we didn't. Uh, he's like barely. He's invulnerable. There's conditions still going off on him. Condies, Condies, yeah, come immune. on. No, he's immune. The conditions yeah. won't do anything. But we can. Can we just knock this out real quick? 
Try. No. That Four seconds. Three, three seconds. seconds. We waited too long. No, I mean, knock the barrels up. I oh, feel horrific. Well, if I didn't die, yeah. I would have had great ice bow and shit, and I feel like it would have died. Well, I feel happened. like well, absolute shit. Like, like I want to vomit. <laughs> <clears throat> One person's not gonna make us fail on a bit. And uh, yeah, there you go. I, it's sort of a, a cringeworthy thing to watch back on, but that's the fight. I messed up on multiple occasions. Number one, we could have had another Cobalt burn just to be 100% safe. Though, to be fair, it did look like it was probably going to be a definite kill there. Um, my gear was all wrong. I played badly. I even think, looking back, that I might have had a chance to get an Ice Storm down or something just before he uh, became invulnerable again. But there you go. That's the Jungle Worm fight. Hopefully another more upbeat video next time. Let me know what you think, guys, and I'll see you next time.